the uh, ground at the moment. And yes, Nathan David, he pulls it away. And that will go all the way for a boundary. St. Peter's College, they register that 22nd win against St. Joseph's College in this uh, Battle of the Saints limited doors encounter. Anchor drinking yogurt. For the 50th limited overs encounter between the two schools, between the uh, two schools with the rich legacy. This is how it all began today morning. A very creative opening ceremony organized by uh, both the schools. Uh, a lot of credit goes out to both the schools, St. Peter's College and uh, St. Joseph's College. The, uh, from the 22 players who will take the field today, we already know there are four who have already represented Sri Lanka in the under-19 level. Welcome to the live coverage of the 50th Limited Rose Encounter between St. Joseph's College and St. Peter's College played for the Reverend Father Peter Pille Memorial Shield. It's a brand new pitch according to the um, ground set Myers Bopage. Four mils of grass, hard as a rock. People expect runs when they come to white ball cricket. Well, you got one. We are all set for the all-important toss of this 50th Limited Rose Encounter. As you can see, the gold coin provided by the principal sponsor of this 50th Josephian Pete Wright Limited Overs Encounter is coming uh, from the drone to the center here. The 50th Josephian Pete Wright Limited Overs Encounter. The gold coin uh, will be used by the two captains, Lahiru Amarasekara and uh, Vishen Halambage. And uh, now the gold coin will now come uh, near the match referee Manoj Mendis. Great initiative taken uh, from uh, Dialogue Garciata, the principal sponsor, along with the joint match organizing committee of this uh, 50th Joseph and Pete Wright uh, Limited Overs Encounter. Vishen Halambage, the home team captain, will uh, spin the coin while Lahiru Amar Sekara will call it. Here you go. Vishen Halambage will now spin the coin. St. Peter's have won the toss. Vishen, what are you going to do? Uh, we are going to bowl first, uh, Damita. This is the uh, St. Joseph's College uh, playing 11. Kenneth Abhishek, the opening batters, then the experienced Hirun and uh, Hiran Rishma. St. Peter's College playing 11. They have made only one change. Zovin Salgadu, Dilna Damsara, Janit is the player coming in. They can become that prize cricket as well. Here's the first delivery of the 50th limited overs encounter between St. Peter's and St. Joseph's. Up in the air, but. Uh, Finds the gap and the first runs on the board. The very first delivery. Important for the spinners to do their role here and then offer a chance early on and a fine leg. At the deep, the only fielder who's out there. Going down the left side, uh, he shuffled across a bit, uh, Kenneth Lee and uh, And it went right into the hands of uh, Dylan Adamsara. The first wicket down for St. Joseph's College and it's uh, Kenneth Lienage who departs. KJP and Matthew Hayden like in that flick, very unlucky to find as you said the only field out in the deep. This uh, first hour of play, this time Bishak Javir flicks it away. Will this be the uh, first boundary? College. As I said Luxus, it's not about... Vishen has an attempt and that's an unnecessary run out there. Abhishek, importance of discipline. Well shot there, Abhishek. Unfortunate. Satisfied. A brilliant innings. The lights, please. Addition is out. A brilliant innings in the two-day game. A very, very unfortunate way to walk off for an informed player. Whipped away from uh, Kapuru Bandara for a of St. Joseph's batting in the centre now. It's really, that's really well played again. That was a lovely scene to watch. And that's nicely played by Hiran Jai Sundara going towards the third man. What? Very careful. This time finds the gap Hiran Jai Sundara. Mission Halmagi will continue and uh, swept away this time. The uh, Classic sweep shot, the uh, hurdle, final hurdle uh, before the uh, big final. 
against Isi in the two-day format. But this time, Hiran Jai Sundar. Fred. Kapur Bandara uses the pace and gets a boundary. That's his half century. A well compiled half century from uh, Hirun Kapuru Bandara. Short and easy pickings for Golden Lions happening in Matara. Outside edge. He has an opportunity and dropped. There was some tight bowling, but latterly now it's gone. That's gone up in the air again. Is it a chance? Oh my gosh! The big match. But only thing that we heard was that uh, there is a, there was a change of the wicket. So that's what could have been. This is turning out to be a match-winning partnership as he clears the inner circle there, Hirun. Average is going, and Pete Wrights are giving them the room for that. That's the beauty of it. So this is in the air again. Let's see where this goes. Oh my God! Finally, 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 it's taken. Anti. He'll feel a tad unlucky. Scored 94 in the two-day encounter, followed up by a brilliant 70 here. But what a catch by Asadisa. The pressure, the circumstances, the drop chances earlier. Leading the way from the front there, Asadisa, with a decent grab at long off. And I'm like this. I think uh, Josephian should now really be looking at 270 plus. If that's so, Hiran will have to go after the bowling. Or they should have sent another batsman. Or we don't know the how fast uh, Rish, uh, Rishan can score. So some some players. So this is Hiran uh, reaching a very well deserved uh, 50, right? So that is the big match. So anything can happen. And that's the beauty of our sport. A nice lap sweep there by Hiran. The final 14 overs left in the innings. And this time he penetrates that gap to perfection. If they aren't watchful over the next 14 overs so and just as I said it, Hiran gives his wicket away. But this time he doesn't drop his guard. That will do a load of good for him as well. So some good uh, signs now come in the Pete Rice way. And like you very correctly said, Ovin Salgado taking the catch will definitely... Yes, you're pretty correct. Let's see, no doubt. That's a very close one and it's given out. Wicket 168 for 5. Three quick wickets. Exactly what the doctor ordered for St. Peter's College, and uh, that both of them threw their wickets away, no doubt about that. There was no hurry, and that's another wicket to go. Rish Mamar Singh, another important wicket for St. Peter's College. Yes, the replay trying to work it towards the leg side, but uh, unfortunately for Rishma, it went straight towards short delivery. Cut away and uh, cut away brilliantly by uh, Senuja. His last game for St. Peter's College. Loud appeal, loud appeal. This is given. St. Peter's College getting all the momentum in their way. I think uh, that would have clipped the uh, leg samba by Billy Polly. 15 extras, 15 whites. Just one no ball. So could this be the start of uh, the good keeping? Oh, missed the short delivery and uh, let's go at 225. Yep, Shannon Rodrigo is never known to be a big turner of the ball. This occasion it looks short, but he actually slid that one in and uh, Manus uh, thought he had more time. Some turn. And A mix up and uh, is that a run out? Run to the third umpire, is it? Yes. The field is not that celebrating, but uh, I thought it was short. Short by quite a distance, Michael. Satisfied, just focus the lights, please. My decision is out. Slide one in, I would think. And he does. King Wickets is the best form of defense, and the Pete Wrights have bowled the Josephians out. There you go, on with the arm. Too quick and uh, on the money is Vishen Halamage picking up his second wicket. And here we see the card uh, uh, to bat first, uh, Kenneth was first to go for three, Abhishek eight, then we had a. And the bowling for St. Peter's, uh, the got off to a good start, uh, Ishira, uh, six overs, uh, he was a little expensive uh, towards the end. Kiri Atir is superior, sir.
for the pay drive. Here's Nushan Pereira. He's known to be a bowler who bowls quickish or spin in this season in the limited overs format. Here's uh, Owen Salgado. Dropped. This is what uh, the Josephians uh, cannot afford to do. 17 year olds, 18 year olds. The pressure gets to you. Here's uh, Damsara. This time connects that. That Joseph should potentially have a slip in there. As he clears the infield, the pressure got too much room as well. Once again, outside edge running down to the third man region for another boundary. Situation and they have got out to a decent start whilst he comes uh, dancing down the track and uh, puts that over. They've been diving all over and that, just as we talk, that was a beautiful shot but could have been very decent economy rate by uh, Lahiru as uh, that one is again punched on the offside. And, uh, that's another beautiful shot, clears the field. Uh, very that's it up Ishley. And this time again a mischarge there. I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's Dinu Kusera Singer. First ball put away and a free hit. My God, is that another free hit? That's a huge hit there by Damsara. And so that they, they are now in a very good stand. So this is the first wicket partnership, 66 runs between Salgado and Damsara. Very, very valuable partnership as that one is beautifully glided. Very, very nicely. This is Dilna Damsar once again goes inside out and that. Ah, some other bash, na. Pulling a maiden the previous over, but uh, Hiran Jasundar needs to make sure that he uh, supports Manasa here because Manasa building pressure from the other end won't matter. And here's Dilna Damsar bringing up his 50, 44 deliveries to get in that run rate down below six. That's and here's uh, Dilna Damsar almost down to the SSC at some stage to view March Madness in your own eyes and that's a second over read that variation brilliantly the stumps okay, oh that's bold him they have rattled Dylan and stumps the man that taken them to all parts in the last two day encounter as well as in this innings thus far there was not a lot of feet were they there he wanted to transfer his way, you know, he's added a responsibility to the skip. Ah, this is another opportunity. Straight up in there, well taken. One, like I said, one will get you two. Don't even call it pressure, there was no pressure or no win. He just had to continue going at it. He didn't have to take on the mantle from Damsar in terms of being the aggressor. Because you have an aggressor who's coming to bat. And his luck has run out. That's a terrific shot. One of the hardest shots to play in cricket. By Vishen. And he has a bit of delicate, a bel delicate touch there and a misfield. The Philippines want to get back into the game. They need to get the wickets. That's hit up Ishley. That's, that's another wicket. Well, almost on cue. Helen McGate nicely tossed up. I don't know if there was any turn. The bat swiveled in his hands and uh, he couldn't get any timing on that whatsoever. Just spoon that. Now that's smartly played. Well played indeed by Shannon Rodrigo. Amara Sekara. And uh, the two openers that's uh, Rosanta Gamage coming down the wicket and driving it firmly. That beats to be on fielder. The required run rate of 4.11. It's definitely that's edged about going to the and a good uh, opening spell that's worked away nicely as an appeal Ooh. yes that was bowled around his leg you see the replay on that oh definitely bowl around the legs that's the wicket that joseph is going have been looking forward for and they have got it now they should have no foot movement at all that's another single and they're running for two this time and and that's the wicket i think that's a he was out by a mile oh my gosh yeah, yeah. so that's a disaster for st peter's uh, focus the lights please my decision is out, out yes and that is the end of the 
31st. Like I said before, I don't think St. Peter should even concentrate on the run rate at the moment. But just start knocking it around. Feed. That's again delicately played. That's poor bowling from Jayasundra. Bowling from the commentator's box end. And he has struck. What a wicket. What a massive moment this is going to be. Again, going for a very expensive option. Rodrigo was nowhere near it. Get back into the game. That's nicely worked away that time by Nathan David. That's going towards the boundary. The chance of uh, getting back into this game. That's edged and gone towards the third man boundary. A long chase there. So the wins were definitely 20 30 runs short. And that's beautifully hit. That. Right. Nice yes, indeed. Yes, he should have a ball, and that's a brilliant catch. Very well taken. And despite the circumstances, he gave it his best shot. A wholehearted dive there at mid on. Senuja take a bow. Brilliant with the bat in the latter stage. It was Nathan David. Not a good delivery. Man, Samadhu Bajana, that's not where the uh, ground at the moment. And here's Nathan David, he pulls it away and that will go all the way for a boundary. St. Peter's College, they register that 22nd win against St. Joseph's College in this uh, Battle of the Saints limited doors encounter. Legacy here in Sri Lanka celebrating that uh, 50th encounter between the two sides. And uh, in the end it was uh, St. Peter's College who uh, got the better of St. Joseph's College. Ovin Salgadu and Nadil Nadamsar, the two, two heroes. And over a runner ball. It eased the pressure for the middle order. As you look at the bowling card of St. Joseph's College, the pick of the bowlers again, the bowler of the match at the two day encounter. Yenula, 4 for 45 off his 10 overs at this 50th encounter. Here's the match summary. St. Peter's College, after winning the toss, they decided to bowl first. And St. Joseph's College, they meet 229 in 48.5 overs. Hirun Kapubandara made 70 runs, Jasundar 65. Josephine and Pete Wright, limited overs cricket encounter was won by St. Peter's College by three wickets. So I would like to invite the captain, Vishen Halamage, to receive the shield from the two inaugural captains of this great encounter. The shield will now go back to Bambalapitiya. Big game coming up uh, next week when they uh, play that uh, TAB final against um, Lumini in the two-day tournament.